One of the things that I've always hoped for is that in my lifetime I would see this lake cleaned up to become the gem for our community that it should be. It's a great day here in central New York. A better day for all who love fishing or birding. A new day for all who love boating and sailing or kayaks. A day of opportunity for thousands of area families wanting to reconnect to a natural jewel that has always been at the heart of central New York. Onondaga Lake. Onondaga Lake was once called the most polluted lake in America. Many thought it would remain that way forever. The lake had a very negative reputation nationwide and I think even internationally. A once shimmering natural jewel diminished by 200 years of population growth, urban development, and industrial activity. My feeling is that the lake was a convenient place to dispose of waste for the companies that were building up around the lake. Years ago, people just didn't say, well, I think I'll just go out and pollute the, and pollute the lake today. You know, we aren't going to throw stuff in it. But that stuff happened over time. People didn't realize what they were doing. And people just accepted it. Nobody really did anything about it. At this point, what I care about is that there are efforts being made to clean it up and we're looking forward, that's what I care about. Restoring a lake that was used for human and industrial waste for 200 years is an enormous challenge. This is the biggest lake cleanup project in the world. More than a dozen years ago, Honeywell began assembling a world-class team of top scientists, environmental engineers, and habitat specialists to design a safe and effective cleanup plan based on sound science and community priorities. The company reached out for advice from our community, including conservationists, sportsmen, environmentalists, public officials, and habitat experts from the State University of New York College of Environmental Science and Forestry. Today, under the direction of the New York State Department of Environmental Conservation, Honeywell is putting into action a science-driven lake cleanup plan. The plan was issued in 2005 by the DEC and the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency in cooperation with the New York State Department of Health. The dredging and capping of Onondaga Lake started in 2012 and is scheduled to be finished in 2016. Yet thanks in part to recent upgrades at the Metro Wastewater Treatment Plant and the underground barrier wall constructed by Honeywell, which is intercepting contaminated groundwater before it reaches the lake, people are already noticing some big improvements in Onondaga Lake's water quality. You couldn't see through the surface of the water. The smell from Onondaga Lake was, used to be horrific. Um, if the wind blew the wrong direction, it would bring tears to your eyes. But now we're beyond that. The smell is, is long since gone, and, and I think, you know, I don't think it's ever going to come back. Rebuilding natural habitat along several of the lake's tributaries and southwestern shoreline is another vital ingredient to the restoration of Onondaga Lake. Property along Gettysbrook and Nine Mile Creek is becoming a robust wildlife habitat again, thanks to the new planting of tens of thousands of native trees, shrubs and grasses, and wetland plants. Oh, it's great to see that wildlife coming back to the area. We saw a bald eagle that was just sitting in a tree. Definitely the eagles are coming back because it's a better habitat for them. So having more of these natural areas around urban areas to support a larger diversity of wildlife is, is critical. The return of healthy natural habitat means the return of healthy lake wildlife in all its wonderful forms. A lot of fish and turtles and snakes. A lot more ducks. Um, muskrats, you know, your tiny, your moles and your voles. We're also starting to see uh, river otters come back. That's a great testament to saying, if we build it, they will come. We are working with DEC and local fishing and conservation groups to enhance recreational opportunities in Onondaga Lake and its tributaries. I think it's gonna be really nice to fish in. There's probably twice as many different fish species now that you're seeing from what we saw 10, 15 years ago. We got a lot of rainbow fish over here and bluegill. Well, there's, there's some great fish out here, so I, I enjoy it immensely. Wetlands restoration projects are creating or improving wildlife habitat and new recreation opportunities for everyone. We're improving the shoreline and enhancing the lake and its surroundings, which will be enjoyed by runners, 
bicyclists, hikers, and picnicking families. The Onondaga Lake Cleanup Plan is really about just three things. Renewing the lake's waters and its habitat, rebuilding our community connection to one of our region's greatest natural treasures, restoring our pride of place for our kids, and improving the quality of life for the entire region. Honeywell has been a part of the Onondaga Lake community for decades. We're proud to play a major role in one of the most ambitious environmental reclamation projects ever in the USA. The cleanup of one of Central New York's true gems, Onondaga Lake. And everyone would tell me, not in your lifetime are you gonna fish in that lake. You will never fish out there. I didn't think we'd see it in my lifetime, but I think we're going to. It's taken about 15 to 20 years to get where we are right now, but we're finally rolling. It won't be long now. We've got a lot of time and effort in this and we're ready. It won't be long.